is sort of additionally what I'm looking at when it comes to um, dealing with water issues and flooding issues and putting together things is the fact that when private property clears land, it is going to increase water flow. And there's just unfortunately not a whole lot that townships can do about that. There are sorts of uh, stormwater things that can go in and that's something that I'm looking at and we're going to continue looking into. But for example, I know we, the township approved a heavy hauling permit to allow um, someone to take some logs off of their own land. Well, that also, things, actions like that contribute to an increased water flow in this area. So we're gonna go check out Mac and Pat and Patcher. Just wanted to let the board and the public know that we are definitely on top of this issue. We're gonna go check out the Macintosh compressor station, but likely we're looking at a larger flooding issue that's happening in conjunction with recent climate patterns and, and the nature of the beast where developments are going in and impervious surfaces are increasing and shrubbery and trees are being taken out. But we're on it, we're looking at it. Yeah, because they're historically, I mean, I've lived there for 20 years now. We did not have this flooding until, and that's why I sent you the aerial shot so that you could see how much the new compressor station, that was all trees. So you take all that away, I mean, and they do have some, you can see they have drainage around the, the compressor station. But there's also like a section where you can see where they put stones down that's heading straight for the creek. Well, that wasn't the plan. That's not what they agreed to when they had their conditional use permit. And that was my thing. They came here, they got a permit, and there was no, supposed to be no water going into that creek. I mean, that's their agreement. And so they need to rectify that. And it's not, even where, like coming off of Aver, where it comes down and goes across the, underneath the road, and then comes down out of that pipe. That was just a spring. And that's, there's water coming down there contributing and more water comes out that way too. Because like for Jacob, and I wish Jacob was here tonight, because he his yard really got messed up down there. So and it was never like that. And he said like the people that he bought it off of came back and they were like, oh my god. And yeah. Because they had never they had lived there for years and never experienced. So and he, and yeah. So we, we know just from living there, we know where it's coming from. So we did get permission to go up there. We're gonna check it out. We are pursuing it. Um, yeah, I mean. Terry, when you and Sean and perhaps Rick go up there, can you ask them to pull the original conditional use permit plans and, and maybe go over them to make sure that there's <coughs> no stray from what was in the absolutely. permit? Do you suggest that, Sean, that that be an idea? To yeah, one, one of the things that's kind of difficult, mm -hmm. though, is just, um, when you see something on a plan and in reports, it makes sense. But to, to actually verify that, so, so sort of what stormwater management kind of works like is, uh, imagine a hose flowing into a bucket, and then you put a pencil-sized hole in the bucket. So you, you're getting less flow than what's coming out of the hose out of the bucket, but at some point, the bucket fills up and overflows. Well, you know, I, I could look at a plan and I could look at a, a stormwater pond and say, yeah, it looks close to what's on the plan, but without actually being out there surveying and seeing an as built to compare with their design plan, it's a bit difficult to say, well, is their stormwater 100% correct or is it there a small problem? But you know, a lot of larger problems that might exist out there, those would definitely be able to uh, be found just looking at a plan and looking at the site, but uh, small variations is what, where it gets a little bit more difficult without having as built data. If the board feels okay, let's keep this on the agenda and get an update in two weeks. I'm sure you'll visit it and bring back and been able to update. Yep. Okay. Thank you, Sean. Great, thank you. Item five, discuss status of construction centers in Alwayma Park. Sean? 